So all I need to do is put these, and they'll have three signatures. This needs to go in here. And that's how it'll look when it's done. So we need to do that now. I have these already organized the way I want them. But now I need to make sure that they're upright, which way they're going to go in. There should be one thing in there that's... Okay, there it is. The birds are in there. See, that's the beak. That's the feet, so it's upside down. So it was like this, so all these need to be flipped over. Now they should be all the right way. But just in case, I try to find a picture that I did. This is my art pieces in here. Because I don't want to use someone else's for this. So, so that one's upright. I like to look at each one of the bird pictures to make sure they're upright. If I can find it. <laughs> that one's upright. And this one was already upright. Okay. So now, that's upright. Now I just need to figure out where it needs to go. So what I did, yeah, there we go. I do have a piece of paper that I set up for myself to do, but I think this is not gonna work, it's too skinny. And it was my marker to know how far apart to get them. So this one's gonna have to be a little bit different. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get them. Where I want them. Right up there. Right over, right about there. And then I'm going to grab. Where's it at? Oh, what did I do with that pencil? Okay, I messed up. I should have got the pencil first. Um, where are you at, pencil? I moved to quite a few things, so I have lost, I put, I misplaced, let's put it that way, I misplaced it. There it is, way back there. I can grab it. Come here. It's my, um, white pencil. It's a chalk pencil. I use it for this. Okay, it's upside down now. So now I need to do it like this. So I just want to get them right where I want them. And then mark those spots and then I'll show you what I do Try to get it just right so hard to get it just to where I want it. Let's see, right there is perfect. It's over there, there, and there. Okay. That's where I want them. Now, the way I do this is I go down like this, making sure that this is level all the way through. So actually what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to okay so where I want that one is to be right about there okay pencil Make sure I did that right. Wrong spot, darn it. Yep, that's the wrong spot. Okay. I'm gonna mark my spot on here. I'm tired of it messing up. Down. 
too far up. <laughs> Turn it. Ugh. Sorry. Bear with me. Right there. That's where I want. Okay. Okay, you gotta pay attention where you're doing it at because you can mess it up for yourself. Okay, so I need to do this one too. I forgot. So this upper one is going to be right about here. Okay. And there's that one. So now we need to come down here. Right there. Okay, so there's that one. And now I'm gonna go on this side. Turn this around. And I'm going to, I don't care about estimating or anything. I just look on my roller right where that marker is. Okay. So anyways, okay, where's the other one? So this one is right here. So that's where I'm going to make this one. So, right there. Okay, so far so good. There it is. Okay. There's my three marks for those, and I'm going to use this to make it more prom. Oh, I forgot to do that one, didn't I? Let's just let me see where those are. So, so far that's that's our holes for the outside signatures. Now I need to make the middle one. And all I have to do is look at these and then look at that and go down from there. Straight down with it. So here, here, and here. And now we have our holes. I know mine's a little bit more complicated. You don't have to do it my way. This is just how I do it. Now, I'm going to put these, making sure that they're still upright because they're all the same way. So all I have to do is look at the picture that I designed to be my um, way of letting me know if it's up or down. Darn it. Where are you at? Okay, this thing is just, <laughs> it's hard to see it when it's all, you know, bound together real quick, like. Okay, we're just going to look for it in this one. Some are easier to find than the others. I know it's the center. There it is. Okay, so it is upright. I just want to get them evenly, just like that, and put it down on there, just like that. And the hard part is, is getting it where you can see. Okay, um, 
I need to use something that's more pr prominent. I'm going to use something blue. So I'm going to get this just right. Now I have my marks. That one didn't show up too well. Okay, now I can see it. And I'm going to move that one and this one to make it even all the way across. So, let's see if I can do this. This one's kind of close enough, so I'm just going to bring it up a little higher. I know what I do with that pencil. I'm just going to bring it straight across. That way it's in line with the other one. There we go. Now it's straight. Okay. So first, I'm going to make my holes in this, and this is the crocodile. If you don't know about that, you can search it on uh, online. You can you know find out a lot about it. It's very cool to use. Mine's a little dusty because I ain't used it since the last journal, <laughs> which has been a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna put it on the larger one because that's the type of eyelets I have. Now, I don't want to do it this side. I wanted to do it this side, but because I have the marks on this side, I have to be okay with it. <laughs> so, I won't be able to show you this part. I think that'll be good. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And we're going to do all three. Turn it sideways so you can see. There you go. Getting it right on that. And I'm going to do that all through all, all these like that. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay. I've got the holes in. And uh, this side you can't even tell that there's hardly any holes there. But I will be showing you that there is. I'll be cutting around the holes. And then we'll be putting in some eyelets. Now, we need to do our signatures. These two I've already done. I wanted to do this one with you. And I want to show you what you need to do to make sure you get your, um, your thread. Make sure the hole is perfectly through and even and everything. So I'm going to get to the center here. Where is my center fold? Hold on. It from my center. Okay, so this is my center, and the way I want to make sure you're not going to tap because it'll move your stuff around inside. You've already got it all the, already situated, so now you just need to take your fingernail. If you don't have nails, then get you um, a uh, ruler and put it across it like so. Lay it down. Put it like that. And then kind of like jiggle it until everything is in line. And if that don't work, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is how I manage to get it right dead center. Whenever I put the hole I mean in. As you just do that and you bend it backwards now. That way you've got your crease here in line with this crease back here. And then you have the other one too. Now we're going to put these back on so it doesn't move. Okay. 
There we go. And now I'm going to make the hole. Trying to make sure I have it right over the hole. I mean the spot where I want the hole, I mean. Right over the crease that makes the thing so it's perfectly in line. There you go, letting you see it. Because it's the best I can do. Ah, I moved it. <laughs> But it's already got a little bit of cut to it, so I can see it now. Okay, now I'm going to show you. There's this side. It's on this side. It's right in the center, right dead where it needs to be. Flip it over, and we have it right in the center again. Right on the bend. It's right there. And you do this again, making sure. You put it in, kind of bent if you want to. That's what I do. That way I know it's on this spot. There's our bend, right on the spot. Flip around, do my thing again. That way I know it's in line. Sorry if you hear a bunch of noises. And there's the other one. Okay, so that one's done. And we're done with this for now. We will be using it to put the eyelets in. But first, I need to clean up my area a little bit. And I need to get my book binding tool. I need to get my book binding tool down. This is what I put mine in. I got this from the resale store, if you're wondering. Now, I want to look and see what colors I want to go with when it comes to the threads. Uh, I found these. This is just hemp cords. I want to use black, so I'm either going to use this one or this one. This is waxed, this is not. So you can take your choice on what you want to do. I'm going to use the wax because that's what I've been using. It's really cool. So anyways, I'm going to use this. I have my uh, Dorney needle up here. It's my grandmother's. I'm going to use hers to do my journals. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do this part. So I kind of want to make it the crisscross thing though. I want to do it like the memory journal that I showed you that I do. So it's going to have, there's three, three, and three. Usually I do two up here and two down here, so it looks really cool. That's the one that's like my sister's journal. My niece's has where it just goes from here to this middle one, and then it comes back up. It goes into this one, comes up here, and then you go in back in and over, and you come up here, and you go through here, and you bring it back through and you tie it off. And then you do the same thing down here and you tie it off. That's how I did it. So that's time consuming. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. So um, yeah, so we have one, two, three. This is if you're going, you can do this. Oh, well, I already had that one cut. Okay. <laughs> I think there's another one that I have already cut maybe. Nope, okay. One two, three. Oh, I got another gnat in my room from the the um, watering of plants and I have a jar over there that's got ivies in it and it's, they're growing in the water. It's the only thing I can think of why I have gnats in my room. And so anyways, okay. We have to clean up these holes so that we can get our um, eyelets in. And I'm gonna pick up my eyelets now. Let's see, yeah, these are the ones. I have some other cool ones too, but I'm gonna choose these. These are really cool. Uh, I'm gonna use the black ones. Oh, I lost that one. Where'd it go? I mean, I could go with what the corner tabs, but I, I don't think I was gonna put corner tabs on it. So. Okay, I'm going to pull out as many as I can, and I need a total of nine. So I'm going to get, not the shiny ones here, but I'm going to get those matte finish. So that's one, two, three, four, oh, four, <laughs> and five, six, oh, five, still five. They keep sticking to my finger. Are they all? 
got to make sure. Let me flip them over. <laughs> There's two on each other. Inside of each other. There we go. Okay, so there's six now. Okay, so I need three more. They're not shiny. There's not, that one's not shiny. Let's see, there's another one. I need one more. Okay. There we go. I'm going to take one out just in case one messes up. And I also like to take one out for the top up here too. But I do the clips now, so I might not need to worry about that. I'm make sure that's close so it don't go flying everywhere. Just in case I don't make it onto my shelf. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to clean these up. Sticking with red because it's red and black. It's the main thing. See, I've got brown. Oh, I was really surprised that didn't come with a black one. But anyways, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to cut these until they're nice and clean cut around them so I can manage to get my eyelets in there. I'm trying to get this off. So I'll be right back. Let me do that real quick, okay? Okay. I'm done with that. You put that somewhere where it's not going to be in the way. Okie dokie. I'm going to move these out of my way as well. So that they don't get knocked onto the floor. <sighs> Got some of the fuzz on there from when I was cutting this stuff out of there. Okay, this needs to go over here out of my way. Okay, now this, these are the hole punchers, is this one and that one. We're going all the way to the end here. That is for your eyelets. That's for these. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> Just saying. Um, now we're going to put these in the holes. These are the uh, 3 and 16, 3 16. And I'm just going into each one of those. I feel like something's crawling on my foot. Just my nerves and my feet. Okay, so I'm going to do those three first with you. And the way you do it is okay. this little nipple here comes down and it presses into this one. And the shape of these are just, it's its shaped in a way that when it pushes it down, these are created at an angle like this with a little lip to it. So when it comes down, it pushes outwards like that. It pushes outwards. Hopefully I can get this to focus. I'm helping you to understand because this was really, I mean, aggravating for me when I first was dealing with it. Okay, I'm Hopefully that it'll focus on my hand here. Come on. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to push it into the uh, bottom uh, type nipple um, or nib or whatever that's facing upwards. Come on now, stay focused. Stay focused. So these right here will hit the bottom and they'll go outwards like that. And they will, con they will create these like grippers that will grip the bottom underneath here. Underneath here. Here's the top. This is what's being pushed down on. And that part is down here. And it comes outwards and wraps itself outwards like that and comes around and grabs it and, and like embeds itself into the, the fabric of the chipboard. Okay. So I'm going to do this 
first set with you and then I'll do the rest by myself you know. gotta be careful and see how it presses them in and it flattens them it's okay it's not a big deal but now I'm going to show you see how it it squishes it down and it grips the fabric sorry about my nails Anyways, there's this one. It's still in there, and so is this one. I still got to push them down. So let's do that. Okay, I'll bring you back out a little bit. I just realized I did that first one without even letting you see. There we go. See, I pressed too hard on that one. This one's not flat now. That one is. And it did the same thing, but not as good as this one. So I'm going to try and press again. I think it's meant to flatten them, maybe. Well, I'm still didn't flatten. That's okay. Now I'm gonna get this one. And there we go. Those three are done. See how it impress and it presses down because it's gripping it. So I'm gonna go like that so you can see. See how that's indented now? And that's what it looks like on this side. And it's just holding them down to keep them from coming back up, you know what I mean? I know you already know that. I'm just, just in case. Sometimes people are curious about that. And I'm just going to do the rest of these. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back and it is done. There they are. Some will get flattened. I tried not to do that, but it does it. These two were flattened. That one wasn't. That gives you the understanding of how I mean by flattened. They're supposed to look like that. And then though, you can see which ones there did and then which ones there did. It happens, you know, to the best of us. We're trying our best and sometimes we make our mistakes. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to put these in. This is the sewing method that I've got that I hope turns out correctly. <laughs> Make sure that that's folding inwards. Okay. Now, getting these out and getting my darning needle ready. This is my grandmother's. It's really dark. They're supposed to be like this. You know, this is the one that you get with your kit, is this one. They'll have this gold tip to them. That's how you'll know the kit is, you know. This one here is not. This one is a Dorning Needle I use. That's mine. Personally mine. Uh oh I just dropped a needle. Um, hang on. There we go. Okay. Uh, this one's my personal one. This one was my grandmother's. And that gives you an understanding of how old it is see the shine. <laughs> I'll come a little closer so you can see it. It's really cool to see vintage versus today's, you know. This was my grandmother's. See how dark that is? <laughs> you can tell that I've used something to sharpen it a little bit. But yeah, hers has always been real sharp like that. They're supposed to be dull like this where it won't hurt you unless you really press. So, I'm going to use my grandmother's. That's what I always use. I feel like she's here with me when I use it. So, okay. Let's use the blue again. That's what I use for making my marks so that I know where to sew. I only want enough that can grip it. And so, sometimes what I do is I do that. So, it holds it a little better. Sometimes, not always. Now I gotta decide which one is my front and I've forgotten. So here's this one. Here is the middle of this one. Ooh, upside down. And here is the middle of this one. Okay, so this one was the middle and this one was the outside. So that's how it goes. So that one gets laid there. And this one. These are my art pieces. Uh, I did this one as a painting. I, when I scanned it onto my computer, I lightened it real light because I didn't want it to be harsh. So, yeah. okay, so I'm going to, this one is the first one to go in, 
but it's going to be the, the last signature. So it's still going to show up the same way. And I'm going to start up here. And then I'm going to go from that one to this one by putting in the second one. And then on the third one, I'll put it in and I'll go up here again and then come back down here. And then when I'm coming through, because it'll be coming through here on this one, then I will take and go up here and then come back through down here. And then I'll bring it up and the two pieces here I will tie together. And I will do the same thing here. So we start here, the, the, the uh, thread will be sticking out, as you see, will be sticking out through here. So it'll be sticking out right here. So let's go in there. Make sure that you're going in the correct holes. And then we're going to go in diagonally to the second middle. And we're going to get the second signature. Get it on over here. And make it go into that. Uh-oh, i got to find the center. There we go. So it's coming into the center. Now it's going to be, it wants, to, it'll give you issues and stuff like that. This, this is the part that you have to fuss and muss with it, you know. It's the extra effort you're doing. That's how you want to feel about it, you know. It's the extra effort that you're going through. You're going to go back up here, go in the middle, bring it through. Making sure to have enough cord. Making sure this is not coming out. What I tend to do is I bring it under here. That way I know it's not. Hopefully it doesn't come out. I'm not saying it won't. If you push, if you pull too hard, it will come out. Sorry if this doesn't seem like it's, you know, like perfect and prepared and everything not going to be. Now we're going to go into this one here. Okay, so now we need the third signature. We're going to go into the middle. Coming through. And then we're going to go back up here. We're going to come up here. Come out. I need to give it some room, so I need to go see where the where all my string is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just gonna grab this. Try and pull your string as you do it. Don't do it like I just did. Try and do it as you're doing it. Oh, hold on. Okay, why aren't you coming on through? still have my string. There we go. Now if you want longer string, leave that string a little longer then. Now you're going to try and get these as tight as you can against the signature. Just bear with me, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in. I'm going to come across these and go into this hole and bring it through. So that's the third hole you'll, you'll have to do. If you're not left-handed, if you're left-handed, you'll have a breeze. But this, I'm a right-handed person, so I'm going to have to use my right hand to go through it instead of my left. <laughs> okay, so what I started, I mean, what I ended on was the tying off of the top signatures. So here it is. And I do believe I did enough. I'm going to do one more just in case. So I'm going to tie it off one more time, just in case. Okay, now I'm going to cut that off. Now you can leave a long enough one that you can put a charm on it if you want to. I would I always put the charms on the ends most times. I'm actually going to make that a little bit shorter. There we go. That's better. Now we have finished putting 
the signatures in. Now we're going to be decorating them. 